Hey folks, how y'all doing? Uh, just want to give you a little update on a power bill. I burnt three kilowatt hours this month. As you see, this is my solar array. I have 2,690 watts total. These, this solar watt array up here, these are all in 24 volt. They're 12 volt, 12 volt, Kira uh 135 watt panels in series, parallel. Like those two go together in series to make 24 volt. Those two, and right there in the center, they go in series uh, to, to 24 volt. And those go in series to 24 volt. And same with these. These are 135s, Kerasiras. They're in series, uh, two 12 volt panels in series uh, to make 24 volts. And over there, there's other arrays right there are in series. These are 140 watt UL solar panels uh, that are also in 24 volt. And the ones I have down below on the side of the shed, these are in series. Two 12 volt panels into 24 volts. All right. And that is another story. That's my small off grid system. Uh, I'll go get that some other time. All right. And this are, and those are also panels back there. These two are in series 12 volt and 12 volt to make 24 volt. And I get much sun right now. But the ones on top, to explain it correctly, those are in uh, series parallel. Three of the three of those six panels are in are 60 volts. Three and three is 60 volts or 64 volts. Uh, and there's other three are in 64 volts, if my math is correctly. But those three and Three and three uh, are going into two separate breakers in the combiner box from our back Flex Max 80. We've got two Flex Max 80 MPPT controllers, and I have the one in the front I just showed you as for the one Midnight Kid solar charge controller. But the height of my panels is what keeps everything cool. Um, as you know, I raised them up when I put the new roof on, and it's helping out tremendously. I rerouted all my wiring. Um, I showed you, as I showed you in my last video, just give you a little update. Um, there is my electrical service connection. Everything's protected. Everything's up and out of the way. On they, so that set of array of panels. All right. And up here is my other service connection and conduit. All my PV cables go into that flex cap with the with the electrical service connection. All right. And it's like I need to do some painting on the tr trim. Everything in good time. All right. And that's another story. That's my little small off grid system. We'll get to that on another video. All right. Let me take you through here and let you say, show you something cool. But it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon and I have about three hours of daylight left. I'll show you the power production. It is kicking. Uh, I gotta show you the electric bill. Oh my gosh. I ain't kidding y'all. Y'all gonna be amazed. Uh, as you see here, this array is making a whole lot more power than it's ever been. And that's some, the flat, that's some flatter ones up there that were flat, now they're like at a 53 degree angle. 
need 4.2 kilowatt hours a day on that. That's the ones uh, close to the end of the shop. 4.2 kilowatt hours a day so far. And this is the 24 volt array. 6.8 kilowatts so far of power. That is kicking me off. And as you see, there's 46. 0.2 volts coming in there. That's out of three 12 volt panels in parallel. So I got six total up there at 840 watts. This array is 610 watts. No, it's 1610 watts. Excuse me, y'all. And this is my little small array that I am. Two and 24 volts on the kid. It's at 27.3 volts now. We're putting out 136 watts. Days so far, we produce 800 kilowatt hours. That's kicking. My hand will stop shaking. All right. And right now, total, we're putting out. Excuse me, y'all. We're putting out 137, 1,370, 1,360 watts. Alright. And today so far, um, this is what the, the, uh, the Outback Mate 3 is doing. It's showing 11 kilowatt hours we produce so far and if we go to the FlexNet DC today we have, we have made so far we still got about four hours a day left 12,830 kilowatt hours or 12,840 watts all right and I'm going go back I'm gonna show you the peak power we made with the, the new array give you an update. This is the charge controller button for the Outback FlexMax 80 MPPTs. That's the, the 840 watt array. 760 watts was our peak watts day. And our peak voltage was 59.6 volts. That's right over there. So that's kicking. Alright. Now port. I'll press port for the other charge controller, the other mate for the 1610 watt array. Our peak day was 1130 watts. And our peak voltage was 30 uh, 39 volts. I believe it was, yes, 39 volts. See that there? They're not bones. All right. Okay. So let me get out of here. I'll show you the graph. Um, graph. Battery. That's a lot of power. That is a lot of power, y'all. Okay, let me get out of here. I'll show you the inverter graph. That's what we've been making today so far. It's been hot today, too. It's been the temperature outside today was like, well, it wasn't really cold, but it wasn't really scorching hot, but it was warm. 85.7 were our conditions for today on our Davis Vantage View. All right, y'all ready for the good stuff? And the battery bank right now is at 80 degrees. All right, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and I got the air conditioner set at 64 degrees to keep my electronics and the batteries cold.
Uh, that's the exhaust right there. And over here is my intake for the it's for my battery bank. I have AGM batteries in there. Um, so, you know, they can keep, keep them that way. So, no, no worry about hydrogen gases or nothing like that. But this has been a real big help right here, y'all. Um, oh yeah, that's another project I'm working on there. That's a 1984 Henmoto, uh, E E twenty three oh four. Um with power steering. That's another project I'm working on there. My dad for my dad. Nice little tractor. Anyway, try to get off the subject, y'all. But uh that is a big help to the solar. Um keeping the solar panels cooled, roof cool, saving my roof. That's everything right there. That's helping the solar output tremendously keeping the roof cool and the lift kits that I have on the solar panels are keeping them cooler the cooler the panels are the more they're going to produce plus I'm keeping my roof in the attic space cooler and that's drawn air hot air out of the attic through vents I have up in here e vents uh, up in here I got them all down along the side of my building to there and over here also. Over here also. And over on the other side of the building, the, the power shop. Excuse me. This is me unedited film here. Um but up in here, I have holes, vent holes that lead to the attic space right there. And I have one up in here. Um, one up in there. one hole another hole and it helps get rid of all this hot air in the power shop and here's another one up in here it's another hole that helps keep everything cool right there all right okay you're ready for the good stuff all right here we go let me get out of here all right, five o'clock in the afternoon, and we're still making 1,300 watts. See the this one right there? All right. Yeah, baby. And that meter is just a kicking. So today will be a good, a good uh, 14, um, uh, a good 14. Maybe a 15 kilowatt hour a day, or 15,000 watt hour a day. But look at that. That meter is just turning. And I had the air, this air conditioner running. I got the one in my big shop running my, in my small office, my tiny office. And the house is set at 68 degrees. And I'm running the hot tub also. All right, and weld machines. And plus we had the power off from the uh, we started a new roof project on August the 4th. August the 4th, we started the roof project. And I only had about a thousand watts running. And the new roof, new array was put in a uh, commission on the 7th. So, hey, all right, y'all ready for this? All right, here we go. Here's my electric bill. Eight dollars and seventy-five cents. So yes, solar and wind is definitely worth the money. And I think from the here on out, I have a lot better bills because my panels are in a situated where they get more power. 
and stay cooler and we'll do butter. The roof will stay cooler. Alright, and we burnt three kilowatt hours this month. And as you see, uh the reading was from 714, July 14th through August 12th. And I had my roof I had my ray shut down for half my ray, more than half, shut down for one, two, three, close to four days. So that's kicking off. But anyway, and it's saying it's showing right here my taxes. Distribution service, seven dollars and seven cents. Electricity supply service, twelve cents. 0.12 generation 0.02 transmission 0.09 and Chesco Ute County utility tax is a dollar 45 so actually my bill is like seven dollars not too bad so yes solar is definitely worth the money plus when the power is out I still have a means of making power okay folks sorry about that camera shut off for some reason um, but going back to the power bill anyway eight dollars and seventy five cents three kilowatt hours and that's it I just wanted to show you that so yes solar power definitely save you, save you money alright I'm gonna sign off I want to these old CNI glasses off. I want to thank y'all for watching my videos. Please subscribe and any questions about solar power or anything that I did, just give me a holler, give me a comment. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching and God bless and supper pie. Alright, y'all take it easy now. Alright, bye bye. I'm a happy guy. <laughs> Alright now, later. <laughs>